Sandra Thompson, co-founder of the Gene Angel app and website, and this vlog teaches you how to use genomics to improve your health. This episode, we're tackling vitamin B12. We'll go over five proven benefits of B12, the different types of B12 and which one is best for you, and the different genetic mutations that can influence B12 levels in your body. Vitamin B12, or cobalamin, is an essential water-soluble vitamin that your body needs for many functions, and it's found in meat, fish, poultry, and eggs. So if you're vegan or vegetarian, or if you've taken lots of antacids, there's a high risk that you could be deficient. Let's start with the top five proven benefits of B12. One, help reduce nerve pain, numbness, and tingling. Now I can personally vouch for B12's nerve-saving power. I used to have neuropathy in both of my legs and I thought it would never go away until I started supplementing with methyl B12. Once my levels were up, my pain was gone. It takes time, but just be patient with it. Two, protect and repair the brain. B12 improves brain function, focus, and concentration by increasing neuronal regeneration and repair. This makes it a perfect vitamin for anyone with mood disorders, Alzheimer's, or dementia. Three, reduce depression. B12 has been proven to help reduce depression by helping your brain and gut create more serotonin, your happy molecule. In fact, one of the symptoms of B12 deficiency is depression. And that was certainly true for me. For pernicious anemia. Anemia can occur when your intestines can't produce enough B12 in your gut. You may need monthly B12 shots or large doses of oral B12 to stay healthy. Five, improve symptoms of diabetes. People with diabetes often experience depression, neuropathy, reduced cognitive performance, and vitamin B12 can help with all of these symptoms without causing any harmful side effects. Now, let's get to the genes. If you have MTR, MTRR, or FUT2 mutations, that could predispose you towards having lower levels of B12 in your body and eventually a deficiency. If you have any of these mutations, it's wise to take a bioavailable form of B12 like methylcobalamin. There are not one, but four types of vitamin B12, and these include cyanocobalamin, methylcobalamin, hydroxocobalamin, and adenosylcobalamin. Cyanocobalamin is the form that you'll find in most enriched foods and supplements. However, it's also the least safe and bioavailable form. In fact, if you look at its name, you can tell that it has a cyanide molecule in it. Cyanocobalamin. Yeah, cyanide. They used to poison people with that. So stay away from this Walmart form of B12. Methylcobalamin, on the other hand, is the safe, bioavailable, active form of B12 that you should take. It can cross the blood-brain barrier, and it's great for neuropathy and nerve pain. Hydroxycobalamin is a form of vitamin B12 that's naturally found in foods, so it's also very bioavailable. And if you have COMPT or vdr tac mutations such as these, you should definitely take this form, not methylcobalamin, because that could give you a wide range of side effects from overdoing it on methyl groups. Adenosylcobalamin is the form of vitamin B12 that's stored in the mitochondria. So if you have chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, early aging, this is the form that you want to take in combination with methylcobalamin or hydroxycobalamin. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know, especially your subscriptions mean so much to me. I notice every single one and I try to subscribe back. So thanks again and see you guys next week.